Hi. In this demonstration, I would be talking about the portfolio analytics application. On the search, you need to type in port F. The short code is P O R T F, portfolio analytics tool. Now, you would have noticed within the application, you see a folder sign, which is the portfolio and list manager application. By clicking on the portfolio and list manager application, another window would open. And within this window, you would have noticed that you could then make a selection of your recent portfolios that you have created within this application. As you would have noticed that I have created this application, uh, this specific portfolio, I can then make a selection. You would have noticed that now I have this name right here on the top left. You are on the reports tab and under the reports tab, you would have noticed that we have three categories, universe, templates. I'm going to go ahead and just explain to you what the universe is. You could make a selection of the benchmark by going into the same folder and typing in Russell 1000. You could then make a selection of the classifications up to three classifications that you could choose. In this example, I will just remove and show you how you could just simply type in Jigs industry, and you would have noticed within the Jigs industry classification right at the bottom. I could now integrate up to three classifications as I mentioned. The as of date is the date of. Uh, the analytics would bring uh, the output of the various fields within the template screen. So it's going to calculate your returns as of the current date. Uh, this could be even dynamic as well. And you could select uh, how your returns would be calculated on a given portfolio. Options, I also have the include equity as we have selected equity as an option. Time frame, since my position starts on a given time frame, I would then see it's on the 1st of January. So I would just select since inception. You get an option by selecting since inception on the screen. It's at the bottom and then the currency. Upon clicking update, you should be able to now use this as a universe. And then the second part, you would have noticed that you kind of get to see 52 or global templates. Under the summary template, I would use the balance summary template just to look at my underlying data points, how they reflect. There are certain other templates uh, that you could go through as well. For example, we also have these templates that you could just click and use them in your analysis and findings. Thank you for watching.